Attention all turn-based lovers, Steam is holding an event that's all for us. The platform is hosting Turn-Based Fest, a celebration of turn-based games. Naturally, we had to take a look at some of the most exciting titles being showcased. Let's go! If you like the ancient China chapter in Live Alive, you definitely want to check out Wandering Sword. It's a Vuxia epic with gorgeous 2.5D environments and thrilling greed based battles. Not only is Wandering Sword shaping up to be a lovely retro inspired RPG, but it also has multiple endings and important decisions to make throughout the story. No release date has yet been announced for the game, so be sure to wishlist and follow Wandering Sword. This is one title you won't want to miss. Players looking for some light XCOM style battles on the red planet will find lots to enjoy in Mars Statics. Commanding the forces of the workers, uprising all the capitalist overlords, you manage your squads as each soldier develops new traits and skills throughout the campaign. Mars Statics makes heavy use of cover and suppression, so each battle is a tense firefight where every choice matters. It's scheduled to release in 2023, but you can play the free demo right now. Goblin Studio is working on what could be one of the most polished, lovingly crafted roguelikes in recent memory. The fully realized world of the Uwando tribes is presented in a beautifully animated pixel art, ensuring that players will want to explore every inch of the map to see what's over the next dune. This gorgeous blend of open world survival, exploration and RPG combat tells the tale of generations of caravans in a broken world. You can try the prologue for free and while no release date has yet been announced, Sandwalkers is listed as coming soon. This blend of XCOM 2 and Tactics O challenges players to fight off an alien invasion in the Middle Ages. As leader of the resistance, you'll need to unite the regions of the world map to overthrow the aliens masquerading as gods. Slaves of Magic has an indie charm merged with a cool idea, which should prove to be a unique and challenging experience. We can't wait to play it when it launches in 2023. In the meantime, there's always the free demo. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back. Silence of the Siren is essentially Heroes of Might and Magic in space, which should be all most gamers need to know before wish listing it immediately. Between mecha troopers, strange organisms and exotic alien civilizations, Silence of the Siren could be the first game in ages to fully capture the magic of Heroes 3, all in an exciting new setting. It's published by Oxymoron Games, the studio behind the excellent medical team Project Hospital. So, we expect to see some cool new ideas alongside classic mechanics. There's no release date yet, but we are willing to wait as long as it takes for a project this promising. RPG players are familiar with the question posed at the beginning of most quests. 
Will you be a warrior relying on your sword's arm to win battles or a mage who exchanges physical prowess for mystic power? In Mao Kenshi, you can choose both. Your character is a samurai and a wizard rolled into one, offering the best of both worlds. Mao Kenshi is a turn-based tactical game with a gorgeous environment to explore and hundreds of cards to collect for your arsenal. It's slated to release on 24 January, ensuring 2023 will get off to great start. In the meantime, try the demo. Most of our readers probably won't remember 1986 Rebel Star, a tactical game that was headed of its time. That's fine though, because modern gamers will soon be able to play Arch Rebel Tactics, which captures the retro feel of the venerable classic. Commanding a small, persistent squad with optional permadeath, you'll be tasked with retaking an off-world colony from a mysterious usurper. Destructible environments allow for some creative strategies, and there's even a random mission generator once you're done with the main campaign. There's no release date announced yet, but we can't wait to see the devs' hard work pay off. Namir lets players take control of a pixelated necromancer and their small band of undead warriors slowly but surely conquering the world of the living. The game features grid-based battles with cover as well as persistent units. The longer your shambling minions last, the more powerful they become in future missions. Namir's comparatively simple appearance hides some impressive spells from splitting fireballs to chain lighting and more. If you like XCOM or Fire Emblem, this is one indie game that's worth checking out when it releases early in 2023. The stop-down tactical RPG puts players in the boats of a space mercenary, blasting their way through abandoned colonies, overrun stations and infected research facilities. Death is all but assured, but if you're able to find rare data drives, you can upload your consciousness to a clone and keep your abilities for the next time around. Quasimorphosis promises fast-paced turn-based battles in a galaxy full of secrets to uncover. There's a demo available and the full release is listed as coming soon. If you logged hundreds of hours on games like Divinity, Original Scene or Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, then Zoria could be your next big adventure. The Statical Sea RPG has a brand new fantasy world to explore and unique characters to level up. You even get to build a castle to serve as your base of operations. The free demo of Zoria provides a taste of the epic quests that's on the way. The full game is expected to launch in 2023. XCOM-like games often feature honorable soldiers fighting for a cause greater than themselves. 
Omicidal All Stars is not one of these games. Survival is the only thing that matters for your team, trapped on a blood sucked reality show. The tactical battles are tense and thrilling, and the game's visual brings its over the top setting to life. If you're looking for a tactical challenge once you've finished Marvel's Midnight Suns, the demo for Omicidal All Stars should provide a fun change of pace. There's no release date listed, but hopefully, we'll get to experience the full extent of its turn based mayhem in 2023. Zodiac Legion offers X Creed combat and visuals that evoke classic PC games. If you like Tactics Og Reborn, this early access title is a great indie pick. Controlling the environment's destructible terrain is just as important as dealing damage, and you'll be able to use spells to create or destroy barriers on your path to glory. Right now, Zodiac Legion is only available as a demo. It's expected to enter early access in the near future, though no date has yet been announced. Everyone loves a good ace, so Cyber Knights should provide plenty of high stakes thievery. With tactical action and an endless supply of cyberpunk gadgets, this is a perfect choice for fans of Shadowrun and similar titles. Cyber Knights would be exciting enough based on the action alone, but it also features interwoven stories between your squad members. We can't wait to see how it all comes together when the game launches in early 2023. Part Battle Brothers, Part Douglas Dungeon, and Part Slade Spire, Railroads and Catacombs is a unique dungeon crawler from solo developer Philippe Aulo. Armed with your deck, you'll delve catacombs filled with unsettling creatures in search of loot and upgrades. Once you've cleaned out a dungeon, you hop aboard your train and move on to the next one. The best way to get a feel of for railroads and catacombs is to try the demo. The main game launches in quarter 1 of 2023 and we are very curious to see where this train gets off. This brightly colored tactical game looks like it's going to be a delightful blend of action and storytelling. As an aging general recounting tales of its exploits to his grandchildren, you'll follow the career of Grey Code through his memories. The anthropomorphic style lends to the story's whimsical nature, but we suspect this tale won't be all sunshine and rainbows. If you like Tactics Og, give the demo a try, chances are you'll be as exciting as we are for Untamed Tactics to launch in quarter 2 2023.
Everyone's talking about Dwarf Fortress right now, but that game isn't necessarily for everyone. If you still want to mine mountains and create a fortress full of birded warriors without having to worry whether your pets will give themselves alcohol poisoning, Infested Fortress could be the game for you. As you dig further into the mountain to get more materials to expand your castle, you'll need to grow and maintain your population while battling the monsters that lurk in the deep places. You can try the demo right now, an infested fortress is expected to enter early access by the end of 2022. Maybe. This survival game from solo developer Michele Pirovano looks like what would happen if Frostpunk had a sense of humor. As the elder of a pixelated village, you'll direct your people to weather all sorts of apocalyptic events. Even when you fail, the brightly colored cows will be good for a laugh. The demo for Dot Age is certainly worth checking out and we're excited to see what other terrible fates await our villages. No release date has been listed, so be sure to wishlist and follow the game for updates. Fantasy and post-apocalypse are two genres that don't often get merged, but Wicked Lands makes a compelling case for why they should. With only a band of peasants to survive the end times, you'll have to find and use hundreds of weird wonderful items as you explore. Between building your village and fighting off monsters, Wicked Lands provides lots of challenges on both the strategic and tactical level. It's currently listed as coming soon and we can't wait to check it out. This pixelated survival RPG challenges you to lead a small team through a city overrun by anthropomorphic rats. Resources are scarce, but you'll need to scrape every corner for steampunk weaponry to give you an edge. When the orders of rats descend, you'll need every advantage you can get. Shotpunk is a unique spin on survival games. If you like Dungeons of the Endless, then this one should be right up your alley. The freedom is available right now and the full game is expected to release in early 2023. Urban Strife is classic zombie survival in an isometric RPG. Starting with just a single survival, you'll need to explore the ruins of civilization, finding others to join your settlement and battling orders of the undead wherever they appear. The entire horde moves and acts at once, so you'll need to take as many of them out as you can during your turns. Urban Strife looks to have exciting combat both in melee and at range. You can try the demo right now and the full game is listed to coming soon. This 
video and dear let me know what you think about these games in the comments below remember to hit the like button share the video subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting me through all my pages wish you the best ciao